Hello and welcome to the ACU TV OR studio for the Pessimist Newscast. I'm Nathaniel Chisholm with Macy Weathers in the second half. The top stories this week involve Greek life, what is happening to the intramural fields, and how March Madness has affected ACU sports. All this and more coming up. Quick disclaimer, all of the following stories are fictitious and written by writers purely for your entertainment. Everything said on this newscast should not be taken seriously, and we have posted the regularly scheduled newscast. You should watch that. Please go watch that. Like seriously, if you're one of the four consistent viewers, God bless. After a successful freshman new member orientation class, ACU Greek Life has decided that they will allow high school seniors to join their fraternity or sorority. While there are some challenges regarding the rules for these new members, Greek Life has completely ironed everything out without any complaints from the student body whatsoever. Galaxy is currently planning on donating an on-campus goat farm in place of the intramural fields, which are currently under construction. G-Star, uh, no, sorry, Galaxy said that money primarily came from alumni and they are looking to benefit all students of ACU with this new goat farm. These goats will also be available to the groundskeepers of ACU to help with certain landscaping or maintenance projects. Here's Macy Weathers with whatever else the writers come up with. The former head coach of the ACU football team, Adam Doral, was reportedly seen around the Wildcat Stadium, but after personnel from the team investigated, it was ruled that it was actually his ghost. The ghost of Adam Doral can be seen by players whenever they enter the stadium, as well as his screams heard, still heard in the locker room. As already the mediocre football play became worse, oh, football team became worse, athletics called upon Cyrus Eaton to cleanse the stadium. Cyrus assembled a team of Ghostbusters and took care of the issue earlier this week. Men's basketball head coach Brett Tanner has been a part of an interesting phenomenon during the season play. It has peer appears that after every Wildcat win, Tanner's head has become slightly shinier. We are not aware if this is a tactic that will be used in place of the opponent opponents at a disadvantage or it is a side effect of winning. It is also worth noting, unlike the Oscars, Tanner cannot walk up and slap us for reporting on his hair. Connor Mullins got to talk about Tanner about his abnormally shiny head. Uh, you know, as we move forward each game, I think my head kept getting shinier and shinier. Um, with every win, you know, I would, I would shave it more. I, I didn't let it grow. Like right now, it's already starting to grow, but uh, I knew we were going to be on camera, so I wanted it to get shiny. I mean, right now, man, it's starting to peel a little bit. Um, you got too shiny, I think. You know, uh, the guys did a great job, and, and um, you know, 25 times, you know. Um, but uh, it, it very easily could have been a lot less, but these guys didn't quit. And uh, I'm just really happy that they were able to, to do that, you know. Um, for a bald guy like me, man, it's, you know, I need as much buff as I, buffer as I, as I can get. And that, the, you know, you've got to wear a hat when you go out in the sun, you know what I mean? Um, these guys took us to Daytona Beach playing the CBI. I'm the only one on the staff that wasn't smart enough to bring a hat, and I'm the only one that needs a hat. And uh, so now I'm, now I'm shaking off flakes from, from my head peeling from the sun. This is all for the Pessimist Newscast. Just a reminder that the Real Optimist Newscast is posted and the print edition will be out as well. Thanks for watching and have a good April Fools.